welcome to Jesus Manuel Menagarza Photography, Video and Audio. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Wherever you're at, uh, if you've uh, watched my channel at all, you know that I've been uh, searching for the perfect laptop to do some uh, DaVinci Resolve video editing and also some Photoshop, uh, two of my uh, editing passions. So uh, previously I had a MacBook Pro uh, 16 inch with the M chip and I lugged that around all over the country and in Mexico, et cetera, et cetera, all my travels. And I, I use it also at home, but it only lasted about 14 months before it fell apart. It literally fell apart. So I decided to leave the uh, Apple ecosystem and go somewhere else. Maybe could consider a Windows laptop. First of all, I look at the big laptops, the 16 inch laptops and the 15.6 inch laptops and the 15 inch laptops. And I finally settled on a 14 inch laptop. And so I purchased a, you know, HP 360 Spectre laptop, a very nice laptop with 16, uh, you know, gigs of, uh, you know, uh, RAM, uh, a very nice, terabyte of hard drive space and uh, internal uh, graphics processor. Very nice, current generation 2024, very nice. But I quickly learned after listening to it, it made a lot of noise. You know, I tested it out, I go, man, just to uh, do some simple video, it takes forever. Uh, 10 minute video takes 25 minutes. That's a little bit long, I'm not used to that. And it also made a lot of racket, a lot of, you can hear the, the fans making a lot of noise. Trying to cool off that processor, which was uh, not up to snuff, okay? So, uh, of course, I quickly learned that if you buy a, a computer, a Windows-based computer with, uh, you know, integrated GPU, it's not going to be very good for video editing, apparently. That's been my experience. That's been my understanding after doing a lot of research. So I said, maybe I should get a thicker laptop. Not one of these thin, you know, sexy laptops, but I get a thicker one, which has excellent ventilation, excellent fans, and also a discrete GPU by the folks at NVIDIA, like a 4050, 4060, 4070, you know. But again, uh, it's gonna be heavier. It's gonna be thicker, heavier, because you have to get that, you know, move that air around and you can't do that with a thinner laptop at this time. So I was thinking about that and I said, hey, there's a, you know, some that are available on the market, but they're rather expensive. You're starting to get close to $2,000, okay? And uh, I decided after, uh, you know, a lot of contemplation, a lot of uh, research, I said, hey, there's a sale at Best Buy on an Apple Macintosh, you know, Air, 13 inch, 16 gigs, 512 hard drive. Very nice. I'll buy that and just call it good. And I rationalized it and I said, hey, if this thing breaks on me within 14 months, I'm gonna be rather irritated. So I said, hey, at least I'm getting about 90 bucks a month worth of work out of it. And if it breaks, I'll buy another one or something similar. But right now, that's what I decided to do. I decided to get a Apple Macintosh 13 inch with the M3 chip. Again, uh, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 SSD. I've been testing it over the last uh, week and no issues. Everything works smoothly. Video editing is not a problem. Flow editing is super quick. Wow. No noise, no fans, <laughs> no problems. And uh, I connect this right here. This is my, uh, it's supposed to be glued on the back of the laptop. I'm not gonna do that, I just put it on the side. It's my uh, SSD, I have a couple terabytes right here. And it's super, super, super fast. And I put all my video editing products, projects, products and projects on that SSD. And I back it up twice on that one hard drive and then another SSD, and I back it up all the time. Every couple days I back up stuff. And my projects aren't, uh, you know, I'm not making uh, thousands upon thousands, <laughs> thousands of dollars. Typically, if I was to uh, 
you know, consider how much I'm being paid doing YouTube videos. I'm getting paid about a buck an hour. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> so the laptop came with this little, uh, little charging block, has two uh, USB-Cs on one side. Very nice, I like it. And a, very portable. And of course the, uh, the charging cable that uh, has the magnetic connection here. So my laptop, my new MacBook Air 13 inch with the M3 chip, not the M4 that's coming out. My wife's gonna get the M4 by the way. It has uh, two USB-C Thunderbolt ports, the connection for the uh, power. So that's three ports on one side. On the other side, it has uh, an area for you know, the uh, headphones. So I'll just show it to you right here. They didn't have the uh, gray color I wanted, so I ended up getting the black. It's very nice. And again, right here, it has the, the power, two USB-C uh, Thunderbolts right there. And right over here, it has the uh, headphone jack. So that works out pretty good for me, but I need some more peripherals to add on there. So I'm gonna add this on there. You know, that's where all my projects reside. And then I might use a thumb drive uh, to connect uh, and play, you know, transfer to that drive, to this drive, uh, my photographs and video, which I'll later edit it on the laptop. So I needed something that I can, uh, so, you know, I connect on there. So I was looking at my dongles and I have a, right here it says 10 gigabit per second uh, USB-C but it doesn't offer power delivery. Because I wanted to use also a secondary monitor when I'm at home. So laptop, secondary monitor, SSD drive, also uh, the ability to transfer files. So I needed a new dongle. So I ordered a new dongle uh, and hopefully I'll test it out later today, tomorrow, and uh, see if it works out. So that's my new setup. Again, I have a MacBook Air uh, with the uh, M3 chip, 512 of a you know, solid state drive and a 16 gigs, <clears throat> excuse me, of a, you know, you know, uh, RAM. So it works out pretty good. It's, again, it's not the, it's the M3 and it's on sale. So I bought it, I got a discount. So, you know, some, actually a substantial discount at the folk, by the folks at, you know, Best Buy. Hopefully it lasts a year. If it only lasts a year, like my last laptop, it'll be about every, you know, I'm getting about 100 bucks a month worth of use, which is pretty good. And hopefully if I take care of it, I bought some uh, accessories already on the old uh, Amazon. I got a hard case. This is pretty hard. And hopefully it protects it when I put it in my backpack. And it came with a little sleeve for all my peripherals and I'm calling it good. So that's how I'm going to roll. So what do you think? Please leave your kind and friendly comments below. Muchos, muchos, muchísimos gracias. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to check out my website, to see if I have any, go there. Hey, we like these photographs. Or you can say, hey, uh, what's up? Can't you even focus? What's wrong with you? Just uh, go to my website, jmmgarza.com. Muchas gracias. Don't forget to uh, uh, become a Patreon, patreon.com slash jmmgarza, and also become a member. Uh, you have uh, rewards like you get uh, badges. Yes, you get stinking badges, and also early access to most of my videos. Thank you very much. Again, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas, and I got a new uh, laptop, a new uh, MacBook, you know, Air. I like it so far, and I've been sitting in front of the TV just uh, checking, surfing the web, super lightweight, not super heavy <laughs> like my MacBook Pro, super lightweight, super quiet, and it does video and photo editing flawlessly, absolutely flawlessly at this time. I'm not doing a Spielberg, you know, type of uh, movies, I'm not, Scorsese movies, no way am I doing that kind of movie at this time, at this time. Thanks for checking out my video, gracias. Adios, ring the bell for future notifications. Bye-bye.